Hello everyone! Super excited to do this let's test with you all. I was at the drugstore the other day, like no intentions or knowledge of this product or some other new products that are out on the market right now, but like walked past them and got real excited. There was a whole brand spanking new display out of the L'Oreal Infallible Paints. I went conservative. I just got one. I got the shade number 312, Nude Star, but they had a huge range of colors. They had like a lavender color. If I'm remembering correctly, they had like some sort of a blue or maybe even a green. Like they had, they had some colors aside from like the typical neutrals and reds and pinks and that sort of a thing. So yeah, I was about to say let's hop on to L'Oreal's website so we can read about this product, but they don't even have these on the L'Oreal website yet, so they are on Ulta.com, so let's go ahead, let's hop on over to Ulta's website, we can read about these, see what the claims are, because the display and everything really didn't say anything, and I'm pretty sure, yeah. No. Other than the fact that these were made in Canada, it says nothing about the product on the back really, so let's go ahead and do that real quick before we put this on my lips. So here you go, the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paints. For 0.27 ounce of product, it will cost you $9.99. There are the shades, like I said, they've got a teal, they've got oranges, fuchsias, violets, taupes, blues, reds, pinks, like they really do have quite a bit of everything, I would say. These are supposed to be high impact liquid lip colors that with one stroke are going to give you vibrant, full coverage color on the lips for comfortable wear. And I don't know what makes it designer, but the applicator is designer. And to use, just, it looks like you put it on like any other lip product. So yeah, I mean, I think that's about it for now. I am ready to test this out. So let's just sing the song together and then we can get on into it. Let's test, let's test, hot mess or the best. So we'll get you zoomed in here. As you can see, I don't have anything on my lips at the moment, just some residual lip balm, but there, now I have absolutely nothing on my lips. Here's the packaging. It looks like a very nice, slim, squeezy type tube, but remember, like it said, it's got a designer applicator. Boop! Ooh, okay, so it's one of those applicators where it like has the little divot in it so that it can collect all of the product. I don't know if that's what's designer about it, but it smells exactly like their Pro Matte glosses, which I love. So if these are like the same formula, like what you do in L'Oreal, but like, okay. So that gives me hopes. I personally really like the scent of this. I know a lot of people do not. It reminds me of like a raspberry slash sour apple Jolly Rancher or something. I quite like it. Guess let's go ahead. Ooh. Okay, yeah, this is reminding me like exactly of those Pro Matte glosses, which like I don't mind because like I said, I love those things, but like why in the package, like, I don't understand. And I know a lot of people say I shouldn't rub my lips together when I apply lipstick, but like, it, I don't think it makes a difference. Here you can see a bit better, it like looks like a little chair, you know, like a little throne that an elf could sit on or something. Man, yeah, going in for the second dip. go. I mean, I think it might have a slightly thinner consistency, but like you can see it's still got like that lacquer look to it, that kind of shine, but overall, I mean, here you go. Here's Nude Star. I think the color is absolutely beautiful. It's a nice like rosy toffee kind of a color, so it's got a bit of that like burnt color to it, but still I think it looks really fresh and really nice. So I went ahead and I grabbed two of my Infallible Pro Matte Glosses from L'Oreal because I'm pretty sure like this color is like pretty much either the same as this color in the middle or else it's like right in between the two, you know? This is in Statement Nude. You can see that the applicator is obviously different, but yeah, the smell is almost identical. God, those left hand swatches though. <laughs> so that was Statement Nude, and then let's go ahead and see how this one looks next to it, just for funsies. Okay, so this one looks a bit more pink, if anything, but like I think you can see that the formula like looks near identical. <laughs> like, 
identical. And then just for fun, I've got Bare Attraction here. Let's see, this one I think is gonna be a lot peach and a lot lighter, but maybe I'm wrong. Yep. <laughs> maybe these ones are the dupes. Ah, no, it is, it's a lot more peach. But there you go, so yay. <laughs> I mean, hey, at least I'm consistent in the things I like. You know what I mean? If the formula of this ends up being like the Pro Matte glosses from L'Oreal, I'm really gonna like the formula. Like it's kind of just like a lipstick formula, but like decently long lasting. And like, I just, I really like them. I like the colors that I have and whatever, whatever, but I don't know. I mean, maybe this will wear different. And then also, I mean, at least the colors are quite different in the sense that they have like actual colors, you know, like purples and greens and like that sort of a thing. In the Pro Matte Gloss line, I'm pretty sure all of the shades are pretty like natural looking, you know, like berries and pinky nudes and that sort of a thing. So, I mean, we'll see. I'm kind of like side-eyeing L'Oreal in my head right now slash in real life. Overall, I'm excited to see how these end up wearing. I'm excited to take you guys along with me for my day. It is currently 1.01 in the afternoon. It's gonna be a boring day. I mean, I'm just doing a ton of filming here, but I will keep you guys posted like before and after meals so that we can see how this lasts through that. And then I will also see you at the very end of the night for a final check-in. So I will see you all very soon. Bye. <laughs>so super duper ready to go to bed. It is currently just about midnight in the mid of the night. Yay. If you've watched my Revlon cream eyeshadow review or whatever, as always, I have cards up in the corner whenever videos are relevant and I also link them down below for you guys. But I was also reviewing those today, those new ones that just hit the market. And so I just filmed that outro. So if you wanna hear everything that I was up to today, feel free to check that video out and everything. Otherwise, I mean, it was a super boring day, but like a super productive day. I got tons of errands run, tons of household chores and stuff done, tons of work done, just, I got a lot done today, so I am tired, I'm ready to go to bed, but I am so happy about this. I mean, it's super comparable to the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Mac glasses. It really is. Like, if you have those, you feel content with those, you're not really keen on any of the colors that are in this new collection, like, you're probably good. Or if you're looking for something new but you already have those, you're probably good. You know, these are basically the same thing. They're a bit less slick, I guess? Like, this feels more like a lipstick, and the Pro Matte glosses feel a bit more like a gloss. They don't feel like glosses, but you know what I mean? They're just a bit slicker. Like, there's a bit more of a feeling like you're gonna get it on your teeth, or like it might smudge or something around your face. This just feels like a very comfortable, creamy lipstick. This has been on for like, what, four hours now or something? Since, like, five hours if I can do math. It's been a while since I've reapplied this and everything. It has worn beautifully. I've been like drinking out of a cup and everything and even though it transfers a little bit, it obviously still stays nice, you know? If you feel like it's fading around your lips in the middle or whatever, like it did on me after dinner, you can just Rub your lips together and ta-da, it's all fixed, it's all better. Are you ready? I'm gonna get real close up so you can see. But like, you can see, there's gonna be transfer, but like, it's still there, even though that just happened. Not too bad, check out that shiny nose. Mm super cute. These are super moisturizing, super comfortable. In my opinion, they don't have any sort of a flavor to them, and I just, 
I really like it. It's just got that creamy lipstick kind of a look, so if you're not into a bit of a gloss, you know, like maybe this is not going to be for you because it does keep a little bit of a shine to it throughout the day. But I mean, overall, I just think these are really comfy. They're really pretty, or at least this one is. I shouldn't say they, but you know, I'm hoping the whole line is consistent here. But like, you know, really pretty, really pigmented. I personally love the smell. I like the applicator on these. I think the tube is fine enough. You know, I don't hate the packaging in any way shape or form. Overall I'm really happy with the product. I'm happy with the color I picked up so I think if you are interested in any of the colors that they have I think it's worth giving it a shot if you want to add a liquidy lipstick. I mean it's not a matte liquid lipstick but you know like lipstick in liquid form. If you want to add one to your collection, I would say these are a good one to go for, especially it's an extra bonus if you can get them on like Ulta or like even Walgreens, CVS, you know, they'll do deals like buy one, get one 50% off, you know, makes it a little more affordable. But so yeah, I just hope the review was helpful and or enjoyable for you in seeing whether or not this might be a new lip product that you are going to want to go ahead and check out for yourself. If it was, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!